Hello my beautiful 50 subscribers. I hope that each and every one of you are doing well. I'm having the flu today, so that explains my voice and my appearance. Initially I was planning on staying in bed and ignoring life and then I realized I missed that chance four years ago when I got kids. So here I am being a good mommy and good wife making soup for my family. Not just any soup though, I'm going to make a super nutritious powerhouse of a soup with red lentils and beets and loads of chili and garlic and ginger and we're gonna battle the flu. This is what you need. 300 grams, that's one and a half cup of red lentils, about four beets, two carrots, some potatoes, a handful of butter beans or any beans, fennel, two tablespoons of tomato puree, dill, lemon and bay leaves, a tablespoon of honey, some salt and pepper, one large onion and loads of garlic, chili flakes and ginger. So let's start with chopping all of our veggies. Whenever I make soups like these, I prefer to have my veggies all in the same size cubes. I think it makes a really nice structure and it cooks really fast. Fennel. Remove the stalks. Remove this core because it's really hard. You either love fennel or hate it, so if you're not a big fan, just leave it out. I scrub the potatoes really well because I like to keep the skin on. That's where most of the vitamins are. Right now it's the bean season. Butter beans are super delicious. They're a little bit softer and creamier than green beans. Beets tend to stain a lot and that's why I like to use plastic cutting boards for them. All of these vegetables are going in the soup, so that's an A plus for your veggie intake. I'll be using the largest soup pot I have for this one. A tablespoon of olive oil. And first up are the carrots and onions. The four cloves of garlic in the soup will not only kill the germs, but also my social life. But that's okay. I'm ready to serve. And as a finishing touch, the master flu terminators, my chili flakes. Well, it's really getting dark outside. That means dinner time. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and I'll see you in my next video.